the famous industrialist Andrew Carnegie once said, the only irreplaceable capital an organization possesses is the knowledge and ability of its people. The productivity of that capital depends on how effectively people share their competence with those who can use it. Some people would argue that this statement is more true than ever today. To remain competitive and successful, organizations must create a culture of knowledge, sharing and continuous learning. I really like this idea of continuous learning. Uh, it interests me on a number of levels. What's your take on how this could play out? For me, the fact that Google in a short space of 16 years has gone from a search engine company to an organization that produces self-drive cars seems to me like a shining example of this new type of organization. I, I think uh, you know the original quote was talking about a world where knowledge and, uh, was much more static. So once you've learned to do something, the likelihood of that knowledge being employed over a longer period was much more likely. I, I'd slightly change that now to a paradigm of uh, what's valid is people's ability to learn and to apply that knowledge in a way so they can look around the environments. Um, there, there's a, a hacky piece of um, social media data that gets thrown around, which is, you know, of the 10 top paying jobs that we have in existence today, five of them didn't exist 10 years ago. And, and this is all about a, a cultural knowledge of learning. If you look at the, the IT profession um, and you're working the resourcing elements of that, um, IT companies move from uh, development languages to development languages. Um, and there will be the new Visual C++ or whatever, the Java, whatever it happens to be, will move along at a pace. Um, and it's the ability of the individuals and the organization to learn and adopt that technology that's the key differentiator. Um, so I, I, think it's, I think it's important still. I think it's hugely important to the organization. I mean, it's the individuals who can pass that knowledge on are also hugely valuable. But I'd add to that at this stage, it's the ability to learn and to keep an open mind, to keep going forward. That's also differentiating this, the, the current economy. And I think as knowledge is so much more accessible because people are so much more connected uh, to such broad data sources, um, knowledge is not the power that it used to be, right? And, and actually collaboration is power now and being able to get the data in a, in a short space of time or get, get the information that you need is something that's more recognized as a, as, as a future skill than potentially just hoarding. It's not to say there isn't a place for experts, but then let's, again, we've got to embrace the full extent of the paradigm shift that we're seeing because on the one hand, um, we're getting th the value of knowledge in some cases is decreased by the fact that I can access it through Google. I don't need to study for, for, for a long time to get it or find, go to a library to get it. But on the other hand, this is also reinventing how valuable computers are to us because with a cognitive system, for example, it's the first example of technology that becomes more valuable over time instead of becoming less valuable over time. We have a system that actually the more it learns, the more value it holds to your business. Therefore, the more it can distribute that knowledge for you, get it to other people just in time for its use. So actually what we need to reward in our employees is the training of the cognitive systems rather than the hoarding of knowledge and then collaborating with one another around those cognitive solutions to accelerate our performance again. So I mean, it's, it's an entirely different uh, way of working and it's an entirely different thing to conceive of from a learning agenda. It's a, you know, and who are we hiring now? As you said, we're hiring the flexible, we're hiring the agile, we're hiring the curious. Those are the people who will sustain our, our organizations in the longer term. It's not to suggest that there isn't any value in people who simply come and learn something and repeat it. And that will still be the case for a long period of time. But ultimately, anything that can be taught and repeated, computers and or robots will learn and repeat. And the value is going to come in those that are going to be a bit more flexible.